no, 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 no. Come on, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It's all good, it's all good. So, so the job today, we are going to get rid of this pile of cardboard. This is our contribution to Tom, Tom Sachs's ISRU MIT course. Uh, and this is his dome recipe that we're following. And this is the thing you were gonna build. And these are the triangles we have to cut out now. And it's a triangle A is seven and three eight by six and three eight, six and three eight. There. Straight enough. B, A. There, A and B. Now we need cardboard. This one's from Pigeon Store. This one had cleaning supplies, but then I found mice living in it, so I was going to burn it, but now we won't. Some veggie burgers. Some jack stands, because I had to stop using the Harbor Freight jack stands after they fell and crushed a few people. Chicken and a biscuit, which we had to stop eating because it turns out it's full of meat, even though it's a cracker. And beer. Yeah, 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 it's dripping, okay. Got the duster. I wonder if we'll have enough tape for this. We just have one, one roll of gaffer's tape. And I think we should use the gaffer's, gaffer's tape because it's cloth, it's a cloth tape. The resin, the glue will seep, soak into it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And like, instead of just running off it like it would. There. Yeah, see, it's it holds, it stands up. <laughs> Did she lick the hot glue gun? Yeah? yeah. She's such a daredevil. All right, so we got Don napping in the truck because that's where she'd rather be than anywhere. That's the only place where she'll calm down so we could assemble the half dome properly now. It's much higher. Is this sitting down? Yeah. Yeah, hell yeah. Hell All right, yeah. so let's let me get it in place. Oh, oh. Yeah, just yeah. get a fucking glob on the whole fucking thing. Who cares if it gets loose? Still the middle one. I have all this NPR in the fucking background. That's good, yeah, yeah. Red guy and Joe together. <laughs> Is it there? Oh. 
no. We're gonna make it. Oh, it's floppy. It's very floppy. Oh, it's so pretty. A quilt. All right, so we're gonna coat the whole thing in this stuff. Yeah, now it's in quarters. So, we should carry the dome out to where we're gonna resin it. And is it primped right? Is it like round as it's gonna get? Yo, yo, yo. Hello. Hey! What up? Now we're gonna fiberglass the outer exterior. Oh, I gotcha. You start, oh God. hard to open. We ran out of resin, so we've got Bondo hair and we have uh, a full things of five minute. So we'll try the five minute first. And it's really thick. Maybe. <laughs> All right, get ready. Get in there. Take oh some of that God. and start dabbing it on. Oh, we, we shit. Just, let me see. Mm. Yeah, ready? Mm. Spread it. Spread okay. it. <laughs> uh. This is good. This is very good. This is turning out. That's going to hold well. There it is. Let's cut some of the shit fiberglass off and Jesus. Oh, 
easy peasy. Okay, here's where we stand after the second coat. It's a little tacky still, and I'm gonna have to sand it, and there's lots of areas that probably should be patched again, but we on a deadline for Tom's MIT course. This shit's due tomorrow, and I got stuff to do tomorrow, so we're finishing this today. So I think I'm just gonna sand it, and then we're gonna slap a coat of paint on it and uh, test it out. All right, let's fire the machine up and get this get this thing on. Magnatrack MH7000 cold start. Here we go. So now the, we're going to paint the dome and it's a choice between John Deere yellow or Caterpillar yellow, cat yellow. Let's do a test. There we go. What have you got? No, no, no. Just shake it and let it rip. Oh, shit. Well, now it's looking like cat. I was gonna say it's looking. You like think that. it looks like deer? <laughs> it looks like John Deere here, and cat down there. Let's look at the loader. Fuck. <laughs> and they're both cool. Cat's kind of cooler. Maybe we should do cat. Yeah, We're gonna do cat. Spray painting, it's good to do the hard parts, hard to reach parts first. You know, Tom Sachs taught me that actually, like 15 years ago, it's fun. Grinder and paint make me the welder I ain't. I also want to shout out my man, Zaps1 QVC, taught me how to spray paint. Final tightening of the rebar. Uh, still very wet. <laughs> Look at the interior.
So there's the dome installed on the Magnatrack backhoe. It's 36 inches wide. It's something, it's like 120 triangles. A fantastic resin job. Got it rigged up on this rebar. So, you know, you could like slide it back and forth, you know. You wanted a sunroof? It's a sunroof. <laughs> it's a sunroof. No. And rain roof. This makes the whole thing go up and down and this makes the bucket curl. So, here we go. Really slowly. Yeah. Ah, nice. Now just chill. There's, I think you can see it all in frame. There's our geodome. I'm a good six feet off the ground. like a sculptural piece now. Wow. So this is our dome. We're calling it Homer. <laughs>